Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for another Friday 5 Minute Makes. Now today this is super quick, it does involve some ink blending as such. Now I've taken myself a card base, a white top fold card base. This could be square, it could be a side fold, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to mask off the bottom so that I've got a line at the bottom that um, isn't inked. Okay, so I've just taken some low tack tape and I've popped a little bit of um, fluff on it off of my trousers and I've got a scrap piece of cardstock for ink blending. Now I'm going to stick with the corner, in fact I'm actually going to add another piece of tape along the other edge as well just to keep things nice and neat and uniform. So popping that on my trousers again because I've got tracksuit bottoms on today so they're nice and fluffy and put that along there. So I've got an even border top and bottom just to be sure that I don't get any ink where I don't want it. Now. I'm going to put my scrap piece of cardstock in the bottom corner here and have that up at an angle. So you've got a triangle here. Now I've chosen some Distress Oxide colours here. I'm starting with blue, so I'm starting with Salty Ocean. And the beauty of this is you can remake this card in lots of different colour combinations. So I'm just going to blend some blue ink into the bottom here and I'm going to blend it upwards. And, and sort of try and fade it out a little bit. So concentrating on the dark colour at the bottom and get lighter and lighter with what's on my brush until there's hardly anything there really. There we go. Then I'm going to move this around about, I can't tell you in degrees, that much. <laughs> I'm going to take broken china. So I'm starting to work my way through my colours from blues through to greens and then I'm going to do the same again now you will get some overlap near the bottom near the base but that's fine and then we're going to work again work our way up and start getting lighter and lighter and lighter so I'm using the creative craft products stencil brushes for this because they're much much easier to work in a small area like this and there we go so blending that upwards again into nothing and you can see the effect that we're starting to get now I'm going to continue doing this the other colors that I've chosen and I'm going to go this far and see how far around I've got and then decide whether to take it a bit further or whether to start going back down the colors again so I've done a salty ocean broken china I'm going to go peacock feathers cracked pistachio twisted citron and crushed olive maybe then a yellow if I need as well and then I'll see where I'm at So I think I've got just enough room for two more colours here. So I'm going to go with um, Squeezed Lemonade for the, for the next line. And then I'm going to go into Fossilised Amber. Now Fossilised Amber is right on the edge there. I've got my tape there so I don't need to worry about holding my piece of cardstock in place. And again, just fade that up towards the top. Lovely. Okay, so I'm happy with how that's looking. I just need to remove my tape. To give this a little more texture, I'm going to splat a little bit of water on there. I often do this when I'm using any sort of Distress Ink or Distress Oxide. So the sentiment I'm going to be using today is from Paper Rose Studio. So this is the Thanks. Um, it's a really beautiful sort of handwritten font die. So I'm going to place that. I've cut it from white and then what I've done is I've recut it uh, some foam so that can stand out really nicely. I could put this over the top but I think actually just having it uh, at the top there it kind of eliminates too much white space and I love that you can manipulate this, the shape and the size of this just a little bit if you need to to fit it onto your card so it fits perfectly across the width of my card there and then to finish that off I'm going to put in little thanks for all you do and this is from my textures sentiments for all pack there we go a really really quick card with a splash of color in the corner you could make these pinks and purples whichever colors you prefer but um, a really nice easy card that you can create when you just need to say thanks to someone so there's your friday five minute makes please don't forget to check out the playlist just here which has lots of other five minute makes in it for card making and of course i'd love it if you could subscribe and give me a thumbs up Thank you everybody, take care.